not sponsored yet, but somebody did see this video and wanted us to come by and set up the water leak monitoring. So let's get into it. Let's get everything unboxed. Since this house has two water heaters, we're going to run the cold water on the far side of the house and then trace the cold line with a thermal camera to see where the main water shut off is. So we got good news, we got bad news. Good news, the leak sensors are super easy to install. We'll get that knocked out right away. The bad news is this house doesn't have a main water shutoff valve. They do have a curb ball valve, but this device only works for a lever-based shutoff valve inside the house. So we'll come back next weekend and get that installed on the main water end and get it knocked out then. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. All right, let's get the hub set up. Since we've already done a full network deployment for them, all I have to do is plug into the patch panel and we're set. So over here, we're just installing the app. You're gonna see me cut a little bit early on a couple of things. That's just so that we can keep the serial numbers safe. The first thing we're gonna add is the Yolink hub and get it added to the room in the house. And once that's done, we go ahead and add the first sensor. I don't record all of the sensors because it's the same process really. Once they're connected, we're going to do a little test and that test shows that the sensor is working. All right, that wraps up part one. Hopefully we'll be back out next week to get that valve installed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.